to my channel. My name is Sheebs. Today we are doing a get ready with me. I forgot to hit record when I did the first half of my face. So it's just my eyes that we are playing with today. I did a yellow look. So if you would like to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Hi everyone. So I recorded my entire like face face getting ready with me. And apparently I hit the record button, but I turned record off because I was already recording when I was setting up because I hit the button when I was setting up my camera. So you guys don't get to hang out and do my face with me because I already did that. So, um, but since this is my first get ready with me, I'm not super bummed about it. And um, we'll just do my eyes. And um, I'm not doing anything crazy today. I'm just, I'm off work today and I'm just kind of hanging out and being mom. So let's just get started with my eyes. And I actually am kind of bummed about not getting that first half in it because I was cracking some jokes. I was being pretty funny if I do say so myself. I was laughing at myself like a freaking weirdo. But that's okay, that's okay. We'll get the next one the next time. Next time around, we'll get it all. You can see how I do my lovely face because it's just so amazing and I can I still have this little guy popping through but I'm not a so I'm first going to go in well let's just say it. I'm going to be using my Anastasia subculture palette today along with my Kat Von D Saint and Center a lot of people don't like to use discontinue but I'm really only going to be using one or two shades out of here so you and if you have a lot of makeup like most people, like if you're sitting here watching this video, you probably love makeup. So you probably have a lot of makeup. So you probably have these two shades out of this palette somewhere in your collection, right? So, and I also want to use the Saint Center because that is <clears throat> my pan that palette this year. So my get ready with me's, I might be using that in my videos, um, in my upcoming get ready with me videos. Ooh, my hair's real, looks real pretty today. The color looks nice and pretty today. Okay, so I did prime and set my eyes already, but I am going to go in with just a bone shade. I'm not doing yellow today. I have been really feeling yellow and gold. I don't think I'm going to do gold, actually. I think I'm just going to do yellow yellows. I have this guy. It's a little brush cleaner thingy. So in between, if you don't like washing your brushes all the time, like me, you just, it just cleans it in between so you can use the same brush for different shades or whatever. That thing is dirty so it made my brush dirty but like nothing is coming off so it's like it's clean but it just looks really dirty. Um, uh, first I'm going to go in with Edge, the yellow shade, and use mustard yellow shades ever. I have, like, one more other absolute favorite one. It is by Luxi, L-O-O-X-I, and it's called Wheatness. That is a perfect baby poop yellow. And mustard from the Venus, Venus 2 palette, the mustard in there, that one is really great too. I got rid of that palette just because I never ever used it. Not for any reason like it sucked or anything, I really liked it, I just never used it. Next I'm going in with a brush. I am next taking Mercury, that uh, grayish taupey shade, deepen up the outer corner, taking it into the crease, I'm going to take that edge color again to kind of blend that out so there's a little bit more 
yellow because I blended a lot of that yellow out. I take a clean fluffy brush and just blend. Next I'm going to take um, kind of more of like a packer brush. This is the Beach Cosmetics Studio Pro number no. nine, and it's just like a little packer die. And I'm going to take Relic from the Saint Center, that yellowy gold shade. Put it all over my lower lash line. Just smother it and put it all over the place. I really like the shimmers and stuff out of the Saint and Center because you don't need a setting spray or anything with them. They just work. It's great. I don't, that doesn't really look that good. But once I put eyeliner and mascara, it always changes the entire look. Even if the look sucks. It always, it's like camouflages it. When you put like a big wing on it, camouflages it. And what I should have done, I should have done my eyeliner first. So I could have blended it out a little bit with this yellow. <laughs> I got makeup all over my shirt. Well, there's baby food and everything already over it, all over it. So I'm, I can't get that upset. I am going to take a little bit more of that mercury color out of my subculture and put it on a little bit on the outer corner of the bottom. That was really bright. That yellow came out real bright. Just to deepen it up. And I'm just going to tap it so it doesn't brush away all that shimmer. See, there's still you can still see the yellow and the shimmer through it. I don't think there's any fallout, but I am just going to brush away a little bit just in case there's a little bit I don't see. Um, the top, oh, it doesn't look that bad, but I really like this yellow. I'm really feeling it. I did a look with this yellowy gold and with, um, it's like a charcoal silver. And my husband goes, oh, are you doing like an R2-D2 thing? <laughs> and I just thought it was hilarious. That. Okay, I'm going to put on a big old wing and some eyeliner and some mascara. And I will be right back with the finished look. So I'm back and this is it, the finished look. You can't see it, the lighting. I don't know what happened with the lighting here. I threw on Kat Von D bow and arrow on my lips. And this is the finished look. I didn't like it too much on the top so I made kind of a big wing. Stay tuned and I will be posting more videos and I hope to see you back soon. Please subscribe. I am, I'm out. I love you guys. Thank you.